What if I told you that Stomp the Yard wasn't a two hour commercial to convince you to go to an HBCU, but was actually warning you against joining a black Greek letter organization? Stomp the Yard warned you. They didn't want you to get caught up, but you didn't listen. The movie's critique of Greek life boiled down to three things, elitism, Greek division, and young men that don't know when to move on from college. Everyone was looking down on Columbus Short because of where he came from, while half the students in the fraternities looked like they were on their second marriage. First, the Gamma Mu chapter tried to get Columbus Short kicked out of the school in hopes of winning a step show. Yeah, Short was convicted of assault when his little bro Chris Breezy got clapped. But as black males, Gamma Mu should have known that they were on the wrong side. However, the Gamma Mu chapter view Columbus Short and those who have fallen victim to the system as below them. These old looking young men should be ashamed of themselves. Even the Dean told Columbus that he'd have to stop dating his daughter, Megan Good, if he wanted to stay in college. He told Short's character that Megan wasn't going to date a college dropout that cuts grass. Mm, you can just smell the elitism. We then find out that the Dean is angry because he feels that history is repeating itself. When he was in college, his HBCU crush decided to date a blue collar student, leaving him to marry Megan Good's mother, who had died. Turns out that college sweetheart was Columbus's aunt. This man thought he deserved to be chosen because he had a high GPA and was accepted to grad school. Sir, life doesn't work that way. Also in a last ditch effort to get Columbus to join Gamma Mu, Zeke the chapter president told Columbus that if he joined the frat that he could just snap his fingers and get him a job after graduation. This speaks directly to the privilege that the fraternity was looking to promote. The second shot that Stomp the Yard took at black Greek letter organizations was the countless professional students that were highlighted in the movie. Half of them looked like they had a son old enough to smoke cigarettes. The main villain in the Gamma Mu chapter, Darren Henson was 38 when filming the movie. He knew damn well he didn't look 22. This man was hitting on college freshmen nearly half his age. For crying out loud, he tried to propose to Megan Good when Columbus Short started to get a little too close to Megan. You know, that sounds like someone who's about to hit 40. And they said Neo was a second year student. More like a second year PhD student. Stomp the Yard was trying to tell you something. Black Greek letter organizations will have you out here trying to stay in college forever. I didn't hear none of these brothers talking about an internship. They were more concerned with stomping the yard. Last but not least, Stomp the Yard was trying to tell you that a lot of these organizations don't really mess with each other. The entire movie, each fraternity is talking down on the other. The evil directors of Stomp the Yard, whom I adamantly disagree with, were directly trying to contradict the beautiful imagery of HBCU life that Nick Cannon painted with the movie Drumline. While online, DJ, aka Columbus Short, decides to become intimate with Megan Good, who had only broken up with her boyfriend two days prior. Damn, that's cold blooded. It's that type of disrespect that you'll remember got Chris Brown clapped at the beginning of the movie. Also, to take it a step further, the movie challenges whether the members of the same fraternity truly like and respect each other. For example, the president of the Gamma Mu chapter goes against the VP to encourage Columbus to join the fraternity. Columbus tried to steal his homeboy's girl multiple times and your idea is to recruit him to the fraternity because he knows how to Harlem shake? Come on man, that's mad disrespectful. Mine then was tripping. Now you tell me, based on the picture that Stomp the Yard painted, do you want to join a fraternity like this? This movie repeatedly attempted to disparage organizations that have historically done so much for the black community by highlighting the elitism, professional students, and the lack of unity amongst black Greek letter organizations. And as a disclaimer, Stomp the Yard was talking down on black Greek letter organizations. Not me! Let me know in the comments if you agree with the critiques that the movie made. If you like this video, please clap that like button like Chris Brown was in the first three minutes of the movie. Thanks.